Hey, it's Ocean, and welcome to the very first episode of Love Sick Season 3. I cannot believe we are finally here. I promise you it is totally worth the wait, and this season will close out the chapter for this story. This season is for lovesick fans, new and old. I hope that if you're new to my channel, you enjoy the storytelling here. We put a lot of work, yes, I said we put a lot of work in this series in particular, and if you care to binge watch this series because you've never watched it before, definitely check that out in the description down below. I'll have a link to season one and two, and I just really hope that you all enjoy this but without further ado i'm just gonna jump right in because i have prolonged this series so much a lot has changed and a lot will continue to change in this season the last episode was about three months ago in our time but in the lovesick world it's actually been about mm, nine months really <laughs> so a lot has changed and the first being that we have our baby boy here. In the very last episode, I teased that Alden and Marie were pregnant. So if you watched to the very end, you would see her little baby bump. It is a baby boy. And I decided to take the advice of Heather Megan 7902 and name the baby Anthony Proctor. I feel like this name is so fitting for this child. <laughs> I can't wait to just call him Ant. Like, you know, short for Anthony. It's such a strong name, but also very basic. And I just kind of love it i've never had a sim named anthony before either so we're here with baby boy and he's such a good baby honestly the pregnancy for marie i probably should have filmed and started during her pregnancy and you know we get to like experience that with her but I don't think she would have wanted you all to see her that way either. I mean, she had a very rough pregnancy. You hear about the pregnancy and the books and all the baby books. And let me tell you, Marie has read a lot of baby books, okay? They're stuffed under her side of the bed and she can't get enough of them. But her pregnancy was not like how she wanted it to be. It was very painful. She was... Um, you know what, let me have them do something here. Like, could we go for a walk or something? Marie really wants to get outside. It's been way too long. So I think what we could do is just come out here. And I mean, looking into our backyard, we could actually just go fishing right here in our backyard. So I think I'm going to have her do that. Probably have Alden um, jog here and spend some time with her also. We have moved to Bridgerton Bay. Yes, I was totally considering moving to, oh, Lisbeth, thank you. <laughs> Lisbeth says congratulations on the new addition. And really what Lisbeth is saying is I have to see the baby soon. We are here in Brindleton Bay. I feel like because we do have dogs and this world is so coastal and I don't know, the way that the home looks it's so colonial on the street here, and I just feel like it really fit Alden, so I kept him here instead of being in Brindleton. I mean, instead of Copperdale, I chose um, to live here, you know, and I feel like it really fits them. It's very outdoorsy. They love to be outside. They're both outdoorsy sims, and I love how he's just sitting here watching his wife fish, getting some fresh air and yeah um hey i got a special gift for you because you're such a good neighbor and i appreciate your kindness and friendship want to see what it is oh not lisbeth is showing up at the door <laughs> trying to see the baby already technically baby anthony was born um what is it about a day ago or the day before i cannot remember but um He's also a summer baby like his sister, Abigail, so I'll just keep that in mind for future reference when we age him up. Originally, I wanted to wait until Wednesday, Will Wright Day, to invite family and friends over to see the baby and have some quality time because Marie really was not feeling it. I mean, her birth plan almost did not work out. She had some complications, um, but we're here. We're here, but again, it was a struggle and you'll never know it because Alden uh, is quite energized and happy right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not plan this. And honestly, unlike the other uh, lovesick episodes, I am going to kind of be less strict about the um, timeline of what I'm doing. I'm really just going to be playing their lives out. Elizabeth has moved as well. She lives in San Sequoia, so she made uh, quite a little bit of a drive, but not too bad. But I think that Alden is going to be very pleased to see that his ex-wife came here. She has been, um, you know, she pops her head in, you know, I mean, they're friends. I, I don't know if they're friends. They're just, they're cool. They're all right. She occasionally would ask, um, you know, if everything was going well. She's like, hey, he's like, hey, stranger. 
It's like, you can stop saying that now, crazy. Is she smitten by him? I don't think we were supposed to see that, Lizbeth. Are you smitten by your baby daddy still? <laughs> she literally was like, oh, my goodness. I mean, I'm not going to lie. He is quite handsome right here, and he's looking real daddy-ish, you know, in a good way. We're just going to ask Lizbeth about her day. Like, so how is everything? She's like, it's it's going really great. I just really want to give you a What's gift. She's like, Madison, show me the pictures so of baby boy and... Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Very cool hobbies. Alden seemed to enjoy hearing about Lizbeth getting hands on with her hobbies. You can always learn a lot from a sim who's passionate about his skill. Could it be that Alden likes discussing hobbies? Well, this is perfect for small talk. Maybe he's like, so what have you been up to? And she's like, oh, you know, I write and everything, but I do such and such on the side. I haven't figured that out yet, Lizbeth, so I'd like to know what's your hobby. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. You know, now that I'm pretty much done with what I wanted to do here, do you mind if I hang out for a bit? How has your day been? This is literally the cutest thing. I mean, she really came over here with a gift for the baby, and it is so fitting for the first episode. She's like, it's just something small. He's like, oh, wow, thank you. That's really nice. A postcard? Okay. Ooh, what's the problem? Do you think Marie would want any company? And I feel like Alden is going to say, uh, it should be fine. I mean... Maybe you can come in and see the baby. I don't see why it would be a problem. Where is Marie? Oh, she's actually on her way. Marie is actually on her way inside. Um, she's about to get the baby right now. So I think Alan's just going to say, oh, like, you know, Elizabeth, you can just have a seat right here. Marie being Alan's new wife. I mean, obviously, we have to respect boundaries. So it's kind of funny just to have Elizabeth here in the living room. And I don't know what kind of interactions they're having. Like, did someone try to flirt or something? What's going on here? I think what we're going to do is share the baby pictures while she's here. Um, she's like, you know, I can come back if she's busy. And he's like, oh sure i mean i could just tell her that you stopped by or something and she's like okay he's like i mean we're having something tomorrow so why is she angry i don't like that no we're not we are not doing this they have a zero like why is she angry right now <laughs> make her happy she's like i can hear the baby crying i don't think Marie's gonna come out so maybe you could just stop by tomorrow when I have the Will Wright thing, cook out. You're more than welcome to come. The girls are also going to come and be here. So, Because Marie doesn't want to, I guess, have company for whatever reason. She's like, oh, I understand. You know, She's like, yeah, it's fine. I'll go ahead and get going. I don't know why they had... They were like arguing and stuff because that's they're they're fine. They're cool. I don't know what was going on. But Alden is going to come in here and he's going to see that Marie is feeding the baby. And he's just like, hey, you know, Liz... Like I, I told you, she had stopped by. She went to see the baby, and she's like, well, I'm taking care of the baby right now, Alden. And he's like, okay, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. We're going to have him um, brag about the baby. He's going to say, like, you know, I told her how cute he was, and I showed her the photos, but I told her we had the Will Wright, you know, cookout thing tomorrow that we're doing, and she's more than happy to come if that's okay and stuff. And he's like... Marie's like, yeah, I mean, why is Elizabeth's mom calling Alden? <laughs> now we have to do perspective time. So coming to Marie, obviously she is happy right now, but Marie is a gloomy sim. And throughout this pregnancy, I mean, when I tell you it was hard, it was very hard. She didn't even want us to see it. Okay. That's how I feel. However, now that she's had the baby, she is getting her happiness back for now at least, that we can see. And I think she's kind of just going through the motions. I mean, this is her first child. She is already kind of a loner in her own right. She is very reclusive and reserved. And she has no problem with Lisbeth, okay? But right now, she just really didn't want any company. She finally got some air, you know, went fishing. And boom, you know, Lisbeth pops out of nowhere. And Alden didn't know that she was going to stop by and give a gift. But she is appreciative of the gift. But she's like, you know, I had to take care of the baby. And He's like, it's cool, babe. You know, it's cool. She just stopped by and, you know, she understands. And she's just like, okay, well, I'm glad that you showed her the pictures and everything. He's like, yeah. You know, I mean, I didn't know she was going to stop by. I mean, she didn't even have the girls with her. So um, he's going to say, you know, what can I do? She's like, well, there's a dirty diaper. So he's going to throw that away. It's not like there's tension or anything like that. But it's just one of those things. Like, she's like, okay. <laughs> you know, hey. You know, he's here to help his wife. It's whatever. Lizbeth stopped by. I didn't even know she was going to stop by, but we definitely need a cup of coffee. 
Um, she just kind of had a little bit of a tood. We are still on family leave, I believe, which is really, really good. I honestly don't think Marie wants to go back to work. She has been thinking about not coming back to work. So we'll see how that goes. I'm actually going to have her do some pumping right now with her breast pump. I hope I'm not just diving into this way too fast, especially if you're new to this series. It is probably a series that you would probably want to be familiar with. This hasn't really been a big problem, but I do want to address this now before anyone makes comments about Alden's house. I do have an American flag here. I do reside in the USA. I am not the most patriotic person. Don't get it twisted. Um, but Alden is he is the doctor the all-american the dream alden is just a very patriotic person i mean i could change the flag to france or to the uk or whatever but because that's where i feel like they're residing that's why i chose that but it does not represent my feelings or passion for my country or whatever the case may be i got comments about it so that's why i'm like you know i want to address that because i'll never address it again after this what i'm doing is producing a show essentially for you whether you view it as reality tv or as a netflix uh series with storytelling and everything the setting is set and that's all it is it has nothing to do with me and everything to do with the sims that you're watching just when i thought that marie was happy it does seem like she is quite sad and right after she pumped she got even more sad it says low yield marie was not able to pump out any milk despite her best efforts her body isn't cooperating as she'd hope and the low yield is a reminder of her struggles so that's in the back of her mind she does feel a little inadequate and she shouldn't feel that way at all alden's gonna go ahead and go to sleep marie did not want to bother him with her troubles and kind of tell him like oh my gosh like i'm not pumping enough i'm not my milk's not coming in you know because she's sure he would give her medical advice um and she just doesn't want to hear that right now she's an rn she's very aware of what she has to do and how to take care of a baby and her body and everything but it does make it a little disheartening because you know she's just she's trying her best for her baby skipper why are you waking us up skipper is our second dog <laughs> she just woke us up we're gonna go back to sleep we do have gus as well gus is getting quite old he is an elder dog now which is so sad because gus was around from the beginning of the series and so to see him getting older is quite sad marie is sleeping out and is up with the baby it's two in the morning and getting back up with an infant not infant but newborn baby has been a little tough but he loves his son and he is happy. He is just going with the motions of everything. So Alden is up this morning and it's Will Wright day, but obviously he's up at the crack of dawn. So it's like, it's not even going to tell us that it's Will Wright day yet, but he is waking up doing his due diligence to make his wife some breakfast. I actually think Marie is already awake. Elizabeth is more than welcome to come over today when we throw our little barbecue. I think we're going to shoot for like 12. 12 p.m. I think that's a good time to have it. Hey, babe, the pancakes are done. I made chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> And so she's gonna come over and get pancakes. She's like, thank you. I decided to save you all the, um, you know, let's clean this up because that wasn't a good idea. I totally forgot that. <laughs> that was not a good idea. Also our new house, I know I didn't give a tour. I didn't wanna bore you all with the intro, a tour and all of that because I've been um, kind of like teasing the series for a while now. So you can always go back and see their house furnishing and you know just catch up if you need to marie is actually going to go back to bed after eating it's really not like her marie is someone that's up and go you know loves to stay busy get some fresh air go outside be busy doing something but she has been resting a lot obviously she just had a baby so she is quite tired but i do feel like because she's a gloomy sim she just feels better in bed and so alden sees that she got back to bed already she didn't take a shower yet or anything and he's like, oh, man, I wonder how today's going to be, you know, <laughs> like he's just like, oh, man, like hopefully today's good. I'm going to go out, take Skipper for a jog. And hopefully when I get back, Marie will be up and at it. So Alden sees one of his neighbors that he hasn't met yet because, you know, it's been some months. But I mean, he probably should have already seen him in the neighborhood. But he's just like, hey, man, I meant to say something to you earlier. Are you headed on the way to the vet? What's wrong with your dog? <laughs> oh, yeah, she just probably has like... um a dizzy head again i don't even know what's wrong with this poor rosie but he's just gonna talk and he's like 
asking him. And obviously, Alden is the type of person that's going to share the baby pictures with anyone and just talk, you know, small talk. Yeah, man, dad life. That's why I look like this, man. It's just, it's been crazy. It's been wild. And where is your dog, dude? Yeah, man. Being a dad is great. Oh, me and my husband would love to have a kid right now. You have to tell me all about it. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I totally will, man. I mean, I live right there. Wow, you live in this big, beautiful house? It's so nice. Okay. Well, here's my number, dude. At least you have my number this time. I always see you walking around here. Yeah. I mean, we moved here. Like, I should have already got your number, but I'll catch you later. Oh, my goodness. She's even sleeping through the baby's cry. Poor thing. She probably feels so bad. I think she's like, where is Alden? Like, I need help. I am so tired. I just want to lay down. She just feels like... Oh my gosh, like it's too much. As far as Alden's job, I should probably update you all. He's a medical specialist now. And um, in order to get a promotion, he just has to deliver a baby, which it did not count when he delivered um, the baby with a Marie. So he does have to do that if he wants a promotion, but he's pretty happy where he is. He's going to come in here and say like, hey, babe, you know, ready to fire up the grill. You're going to you can do your thing, probably bake something. He's just walking in. He's like, man, it's too quiet in here. It's already about to be the afternoon and she's just sleeping. Before we invite anyone over, we're going to video call our mom because that's all we can do these days. Just video call and show her the baby. And oh my goodness, he is so gross. You know, and just talk about life via phone because they are all the way in Tartosa. Dad has also been really sick, which you all knew that from the last season. So this is really the only thing we can do. He can't travel anymore. So something exciting that will be happening this summer is that we will be going to Tartosa. And it'll be the girls' summer break. Mom is like, let me see my grandson. Let me see my grandson. Yep, he's here. He's good. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and make a let's plan a social event all right we're gonna do it as a house party it's not gonna be a cold event and alden's the host because marie obviously shows that she really doesn't have the energy to do all of this stuff she's just sleeping and alden doesn't want to bother her at all so abigail madison liz lyle i am inviting amani only because her and lizbeth are somewhat cool but amani has always stayed in contact with alden which if you've seen the series, you'll kind of see, you'll, you know that because she did not like that Lizbeth cheated on Alden at all. Um, she just remained neutral in the situation. We will have it here. And I mean, I guess we could just go ahead and start it now only because we are way off schedule. So we're going to start it now. I'm going to fire up this grill. We are going to grill some good old hamburgers. Ooh, barbecue rib plates. That that kind of sounds really good, though. I'm not even going to lie. We're probably going to do some hot dogs and hamburgers. <laughs> and we may have to do some... Oh, my gosh. Why are we dressed like this? No, everyone's going to be dressed in some party attire. I probably should have not done done it that way i didn't want every i want everyone in their like hot weather attire you know and look who is here abigail is here already ready to celebrate hey abby she's like i'm so sorry i look a mess i need to go get in the shower and stuff she's like you're fine do you want to see the baby and here is madison oh Maddie's right here. I love it. So everyone is here and it looks like Abigail is looking at the baby and she's like, do you want to watch the baby while I get dressed? Oh, look at him. Yeah. Oh, he's precious. Yep, that's your little brother. <laughs> so it's like three and I want all of us to get in the pool. I mean, look at Gus. Gus is even in the pool. It feels so weird to be playing. Like I swear, just being in this storytelling mindset and telling the story it feels nice to just casually be able to do something like this for now. But um, Alden hasn't even gotten a chance to check on Marie or anything or see if she needed help or anything. But she does feel good that she got herself dressed. She's actually going to come over here to Lizbeth, who's in the living room, probably feeling so awkward right now. I think she is going to share her melancholy thoughts. Again, they're okay, but by this, I just want her to be like, I'm so sorry about the other day. Like, I was so tired i was taking care of the baby and i love your gift that you gave thank you so much i feel so bad you know and we're gonna swap our baby milestone story she's like it's okay i didn't mean to make you sad she's like no literally it's nice to have someone to talk to you know i i would be lost without asher that's what lizbeth is saying because lizbeth has her best friend asher marie doesn't really have a lot of friends but they're talking and she's like thank you liz you know i just 
I just, you know, you're more than welcome here, but I just was really in a mood yesterday. And oh, I hear the baby. I definitely hear the baby. We can talk to her for a while, but it does get kind of awkward after a while. So we're like, oh, I hear the baby calling. <laughs> Marie can't be mad at that. She's feeling very happy. Very happy, actually. I just hate that in the back of her mind. She does feel sad. I mean, she genuinely does feel sad. We all have heard about postpartum depression. I really feel like she's, I've been through it twice and it's so horrible. So it's definitely a story that I want to tell. And with Marie already being a gloomy Sam, I just feel like we're going to really see some real things this season. Okay, so no one wanted to get in the pool. So Alden's just going to get in and take a nice little dip. He's getting in there. Goodness gracious. Oh, he probably should have told everyone that they could eat the hot dogs too. As far as Madison is concerned and Abigail, we will get into into them in a minute. But we do have to just kind of embrace this moment with Alden and Marie. Um, they have grown into beautiful, beautiful teenagers. And Madison is a little bit older than Abigail. So she's got a lot going for her right now. Oh, man, we need to also, you know, chop it up with our daughters. Are you getting excited? Next week, we're going to go to Tartosa. Are you excited for that? And she's like, yeah, I got like a ton of bathing suits. Well, mom ordered me some, but they're not here yet. Nice. Marie is still in the room. Don't you want to come out here? She is so... It's okay. I tried to show off the baby to Lisbeth. I'm unsure if she was able to do that or not. But, oh, it looks like everyone's leaving because the party is over anyway. So, that's all right. I love how the boys are just talking here. He's just like, man, we're going to have a great summer. Let's clean all of this up. All right. See you later, Liz. She's like, all right. Peace. Bye. <laughs> but Lyle will stay here, which is really cool. Hey, man, you want to, like, watch the game or something? You know, chill for a little bit. Look at Lyle taking the trash out. I love it. This is definitely our long time uh, friend. He's probably gonna say, hey man, you wanna watch something on TV? Just chillax, you don't have to leave yet. And honestly, Alden kinda needs this. I don't know if this was a good first episode or not, but I think first episodes are always so awkward because you just never, I don't know, there's just so much to talk about and so much to do, but I really hope that you all enjoyed this. Um, we are going to really just be living their lives. Like I said, a lot to look forward to. I so nervous to film this and get this out of the way <laughs> but i do believe that because we have our newborn that was just born i think we are going to age him up into an infant over the weekend on friday it is actually abigail's birthday so i'm not sure what we're gonna do for that next episode i don't know if i'm gonna still be with alden and marie because i do want to provide a different perspective and stay with them and just kind of hang out with them and really understand their family dynamic too we will have an infant in the next episode because i we don't need this newborn <laughs> for too long okay he's got to be an infant i'm ready to see him as an infant but i'm gonna have alden spend his little one-on-one -on -one time with his with this guy you know with his with his buddy and chillax and whose tablet is this oh my goodness but I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Just keep simming. Always, always, always stay wavy. And I will see you in the next episode. Peace out.